Right, D9, let's have a look at our second video for ex the same exercise, 602. Last one was from question 7, this one is question 8. Uh, a lot of question 8, we need to piece together bits of information, but for the first one, we've got a quadrilateral made from two parallel lines and two transversals. So for part A, we can see that this angle here with the transversal there, it's alternate to 72. So that's got to be, and alternate angles are the same. So PQR is alternate to WRQ, which makes them the same. So angle PQR equals 72 degrees. Reason angle PQR is alternate. In other words, equal to angle W R Q. Remember the middle letter is a where the actual angle is. Okay, so that's the answer to the first one. Second one, a little bit more to do with this one. We've got parallel lines, we've got transversals, three of them. But we've also got this triangle and this one. This one here, 74 degrees given, and we've got these little markings here, which mean that that line is the same length as that line, which means automatically that this angle where the dot is and that one there, they are the same. Line lengths the same, create angles that are the same. So we can work out what these two angles are before we can get to PQR. So the dot equals, well, let's have a look. We have to do total of the three is 180. Minus two times the dots. No, we don't. Minus 74. That's what the two dots equal. And that equals 106. So we've got 106 degrees left to split between these two. Uh, half each. So the dot equals half of that. 53. I'm just going to put it in here, 53 for that one. And that's the same. All right, very good. Next step. We've got parallel line, parallel line, transversal, transversal. We've got that and that one are the same because that's alternate angles again. That angle there, that angle there is also a dot. It's also 53. So we've got another 53 degrees there. Okay. That means then we can work out what this one and this one are. Because again, we've got lines the same length, creating isosceles triangle. That angle and that one are the same. So we can work out what that one is. And because that angle, our one we're finding, PQR, is alternate to X. So let's see what X equals. Now remember the dots are uh, dots 53 degrees, so 180 minus 53 equals... 117. We got 117 or 127. No, it's 127. Yep, 127 degrees to split between these two. So the x equals half of that. 63.5. Uh, 
So each X is worth 63.5. And we've got, <coughs> as I said, they're alternate. So angle PQR equals 63.5. Reason. We've got in stages. Stage 1. Angle TQU is 53. QUP is alternate to that. QUP alternate, so equal. We have an isosceles triangle. Means Q P U is Sixty three and a half. Which means that angle P Q R also equals 63.5 because it's alternate. Now just to get your heads up on these other ones, let's do it in blue. We have parallel lines and a transversal. So this angle here is supplementary to that one because they're co-interior. So I can find out what that one is. That means we can find out what uh, this one is and this one from that. Because being a parallelogram, 30, that's whatever angle that is there, that one's going to be the same. And once we find out what that angle is and that angle is, we can work out these other ones there. So that's part C. PQR, PQR, this one here, we've got um, 35 degrees, which makes that opposite, 35. And then we've got these two sides here, which are the same. So 35, 180 minus 35, split between these two, we'll give you that one. Another isosceles triangle there. And this one here, we've got a rhombus so we've got opposite angles equal and so we can work out that one from there so there we go thank you